Hi there folks and welcome back to Air Gun Reporter. My name is Paul Capello. For today's episode, we're going to check out the Gamo PT85 Blowback, a semi-automatic CO2 action pistol that's sure to give you hours and hours of fun. Let's take it to the bench and check it out. Folks, the PT85 is a high-end CO2 semi-automatic action pistol. It has a solid plastic frame and a nice heavy metal slide. It comes with a ton of accessories that we'll get to in a moment. Mounted on this already is a quad rail for holding all those accessories. And it has a simulated suppressor in the front. Surprisingly, you would think the barrel ends at the muzzle. That's just not the case. If you unscrew the suppressor, you'll see that inside is a barrel that's over 10 inches long. And we think that's what gives the PT-85 some superb accuracy. This is quality all around, folks. Really, really nice. All right, let me show you those accessories I was talking about. Folks, the Gamo PT-85 comes with just about every accessory you can put on a pistol. The first accessory we have on the table here is a dot sight that you can turn to either red, green, or blue. Very cool. Here we have a laser. I believe it's five milliwatts of power, a tactical flashlight, and two magazines. These magazines hold eight pellets on each side. That's right, 16 shots per magazine. Very cool. Also, you have your pressure switches for the laser and the tactical flashlight. You get a sample of their platinum PBA ammo, and you even get a CO2 cartridge. Okay, let me get these accessories on here and we'll do some testing. All right, folks, for the Crony testing, I'm going to be using the Gamo Platinum PBA Ammo. This is a lead-free ammo, very lightweight. It was supplied with the pistol. And what we're going to be doing is taking a shot over the Crony and then waiting a minute for the pistol to warm up a little bit. If I was to rapid fire over the crani, we'd see such an extreme drop in velocity that we wouldn't get a fair reading. So we're gonna take eight shots, wait about a minute or so in between each shot, and then see what the results are. All right, let me get it loaded up here. There's eight. I think we're ready to go. Now you're gonna see this going by pretty quickly, but in fact, we will wait a minute or so between each shot. Well, folks, for the sake of argument, we went ahead and shot 16 rounds over the crani, and we got some pretty surprising numbers. Now, the box states that it gets 560 feet per second with platinum PBA ammo. We got just that, an average of 561 feet per second over the course of 16 shots. We've got a extreme spread of 75 feet per second, a standard deviation of 21 feet per second, the kind of thing you can expect with a CO2 air gun. Again, we did wait a minute or two between each shot so we can give all fairness to this CO2 pistol. Great numbers here. All right, let's go ahead and do some accuracy testing. Like most CO2 action pistols, the CO2 cartridge is located in the grip. All right, let's do some accuracy testing. Okay, we'll be using two different types of pellets today for the testing. First, the Gamo Match pellets, and then we'll try our luck with the Platinum PBA ammo. Our target is only set out to about 15, 20 feet, and I'll be bag rested. All right, well, here's the results of our accuracy testing. And I have to say, this thing can shoot. 
There we have 16 shots, like I said, at about uh, 15 or 20 feet. Just one big ragged hole. Excellent accuracy. We also shot eight rounds with the PBA ammo, and if you look closely, it looks like we have one ragged hole here, but actually we have a shot in the center and a shot over here. Still very excellent accuracy. All right, well, I'm very pleased with those results. Now we're going to find out how many shots per CO2 cartridge the PT-85 gets. Okay, let's get a fresh cartridge in the PT-85. And we're just gonna keep shooting until this pistol won't shoot anymore. I've got a fresh target downrange, and after I'm done shooting, we'll bring that up here. I'll show you folks just how many shots we get. Well, here's the results of our shots per CO2 cartridge, and we got 64 shots before I felt that this gun was no longer shooting the way it should. Look at that. That's 64 shots right there. Well, it seems even with the blowback action, which uses a little bit of the CO2, this thing is making very good use of a single cartridge. 64 shots, not bad. Now, we're not going to do the trigger testing because I have to say the trigger is very light. And by the way, this is a metal trigger. There's a lot of metal parts on this gun. But what we are going to do is go outside, bring our sound meter, and see how loud this gun is. Then we'll wrap up the show. Well, folks, more than likely, you will be shooting your action pistols outdoors, but you can shoot them inside if you can do it safely and you have a proper backstop. So we have our sound meter set up. I'm going to put in a clip, shoot eight shots, and see what the maximum decibels are for the PT-85. Well, it appears our sound pressure meter maxed out at 100.4 decibels, which puts the PT-85 in the medium loudness category. In conclusion, I have to say that this gun has everything you should come to expect in a high-end CO2 action pistol. It has superb build quality, commendable accuracy thanks to the 10-inch barrel, which, by the way, is the only drawback. You can't remove the suppressor without also removing the barrel, but there is a version of the PT-85 available without the suppressor. The kit we tested today comes with enough bells and whistles to satisfy all you tactical pistol enthusiasts out there. The PT-85 definitely deserves a place in your CO2 action pistol collection. For Airgun Reporter, my name is Paul Capello. Until next time, shoot safe and have fun. Please remember, folks, air guns are not toys. Even the smallest calibers can cause serious injury if not used properly. And you should never, under any circumstance, point an air gun at a person. Parents, if you teach your children to shoot responsibly, they will have a lifetime of air gun enjoyment.